We're gonna do a lot of pulling, a total, uh, total body workout with weights, some modestly heavy weights here. Uh, safety briefing. Your mask is on when you're getting when you're outside of your square, inside your square. Breathe. Get that oxygen. Uh, it's it's warm in here, and we're doing a very hard workout. So make sure you drink your water if you need to refill your water. Take a break. Rest. Rest at your own pace. It's gratitude month. I did a, a piece on hormones today. We'll put some more infographics and in, um, the presentation online. But gratitude benefits your brain benefits your heart, makes you an easier person to be around, uh, but it actually has a lot of health benefits as well. So in line with tradition, we're going to share our gratitude, starting with one of our newest students, Viviana. Talk about your gratitude, Viviana. Very good. Viviana is happy that her work workaholism is being fed. She is back on the habit. Dog gratitude. Gross. You have what in your garden? Okay, so there you go. Get your salad on with the help of Cassandra. Sandra, Cassandra. Sand, I said it right. Sand, Cassandra. Dang, on that early morning speed. Uh, I love it. So you got to sleep in today. Okay, a little bit of rest for Juliana. Caleb. Uh, I guess part of me and myself for, for uh, the way that I got my dog every day, but for so many years I never got a dog until I was here in the morning. And uh, I can see what I did. Straightfold it, get a lot of joy out of it every day. Heck yeah, get that love. Heck yeah, gotta love that work. A lot of work love going around. I get that, I get that. I'm very grateful for my job. I'm very grateful that I was leaving my job today. Whoa! I'm very grateful that the work was done. Ah, oh. Okay, you're not quitting your job? No. Okay. I'm very grateful for my job. I'm grateful that the 330 rolled around and I can leave. 100%. 100%. Well, I'll, I'll ride the wave with the uh, work theme. Um, I've learned more in the last six months than I have in the last, it's a summary of the last five years for sure, but dang, man, a lot of growth, a lot of change, um, and a lot of love, because my work is all you wonderful people. I am so happy that I get to have my job. I never, I never, ever want to leave work. Always, always want to be right here with you guys. All right, speaking of right here, right now, we're going to do some jumping jacks. Let's get some music going so we don't have to listen to Coach Josh Huff and Puff. I got the first five, you got the second five, and go! One, two, three, four, five! Three, two, three, nine. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, 
Second set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. 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 One, two, three, four, five. Louder. Louder. One, two, three, four. Five. Six, what? Seven, Caleb. Eight, what? Nine, ten, there we go. Newcomer. So, uh, one of the things, we're doing lots of squats and lunges, which is great. We're going to do a lot of lateral work today so we can get our butts going. And uh, we're going to start with some ground stuff. Yeah, we won't need any tools. We'll just get on the ground. So, we're going to do, of all things, seven way hips. Ah, Bootsy's favorite tree, right? So if you remember, we're going to be on our side, toe points down, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick up, keep the foot 12 inches off the ground, two, toe points down, straight up and down for 10, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, then front to the center, one, I'm not going back behind me yet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, behind me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Now we're going all the way through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Small circles forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, small circles back. One, toe points down still. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're pedaling the bike home, Ricardo. We're almost there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Mmm, good. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go to the other side. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward to the center. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All the way through. We're matching our gait now. One, two, three. Get that foot up, Ricardo. Four. Toe pointed down, Cassandra. Use that hip. Seven, eight, nine, ten. If it feels like someone is stabbing you in the hip, that means you're doing it correctly. Two, three, four. Oh, shoot. Yes. 
Small circles. That was a test. You guys passed. Small circles back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then the bicycle home. Ha <laughs> ha! We just activated all of those little tiny muscles in our butts that allow us to do really high quality movement. So, you got your weights. We're gonna do some practice movements to warm up different patterns. We're just gonna do three reps of the squat, three reps of the Romanian deadlift. Gripping my dumbbell, squeezing the head, feet shoulder width apart, pulling myself down into the floor, driving my hips forward, gripping the earth with my feet, pulling myself down. I'm gonna do three reps, boom, boom. Then, going into the hinge. Butt back till I feel a stretch in the hamstrings. Power forward with the glutes. Two, three, three. Now we're back to the squat. This time, I want you to control your squat down, go a little deeper. One, two, three. Back to the Romanian deadlift. Butt goes back. Boom, boom, three. All right, we're warming up again. Now we're gonna speed up the concentric phase. We're gonna come out of that fast. So I'm gonna drop down. One, two, three. Same thing with the remaining deadlift. We're gonna come out of it fast. So I'm gonna stretch, power forward. Boom. Boom. Got our patterns warmed up now. Last, but definitely not least, we're gonna warm up our, our legs with some jumps. So, we're gonna do five jumps in a row. You can just do squats, Viviana. No jumping, okay? So, I'm going to explode off the ground. I'm gonna follow my hands, or uh, my hips with my ha hands with my hips. So I'm gonna throw my hands up, pop up, when I land, I'm gonna go right into the next jump. So I'm gonna use that little bit of momentum to help me get explosive in a uh, plyometric-like effect. So, looks like this. Boom. Boom. Go. Nice. Caleb's getting ready to dunk. Beautiful. Soft landing, so land very softly. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, we're ramped up the nervous system again. Now, time for our circuit. We're gonna do some warm-ups. We're only gonna do three reps of, of everything just to get the hang of it. We're gonna do the high pole, the man maker, and the shrug. The high pole is a hinge pattern focus that's gonna use a lot of upper back. So, sinking back, exploding up, chest, touching the dumbbell with the chest. Two, three. The man maker, I'm here. I'm squatting down. I'm hopping out into the plank. If you wanna add a push up, you can do a push up here. You can do a single arm row. Single arm row, then up, thruster, that's one. All right, to review, squat, plank, push up if you got it, row, row, back in, thruster, we'll do one more, squat, plank, 
Push. Row. Row. Up. Thruster. The shrug. Staying tall. Up fast. Down slow. That's it. So, yes, water it up, hydrate it up. That was a hard demo. That was a hard warm up. Okay, warriors, I recommend about 60 seconds of rest in between your, uh, every time you finish a round. You're only gonna do three rounds of the first circuit. Rest for 60 seconds. You can rest more, you can rest less. I'm gonna demonstrate the moderate rest period. I'm not gonna go fast. I'm gonna be going very smoothly through the circuit. I'll be talking you through it. If you have any questions, just raise your hand and I'll help you out. Go, go gadget training. High pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, push, row. When you're doing your rows, make sure your feet are wide. Ha. Your hand or your elbow is going towards your hip as you do your rows. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Feet wide, Jennifer. How many was that? Shrugs. One minute of rest, warriors. Holy Toledo. How are we doing, Viviana? Do uh, just do thrusters, squat to thrust. That's it. And then you could even add six rows, so row and then the thruster. I've been resting for 40 seconds. It feels like I've been resting for six seconds. So, <clears throat> coming up on round two. Remember, quality over quantity. We aren't in a, we're not in a hurry. We wanna make ourselves look good and feel good. High pull. Four, drive that hip forward, five, six, Uh, wide feet for the pushing and the pulling. Huh. Uh. 
Yes. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shrugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five. Ha! Warriors, that, that was round two. So, on this next round, we are going to finish this circuit and make it look very, very good. I want you to check in with yourself on the reps and only do the good ones that you feel are productive. I only did four reps for my man makers, because I didn't want to grab a new set of weights, and I also didn't want to puke. So, give yourself that time, that permission. Okay, see, I've been resting for about 50 seconds. It means it's about go time. Letting that heart rate come down. Now, woo, woo! Last set. set. High pull. One. Elbows lead on the way up. Three, four, five, six. The man maker. Ha. Ha. Yes, that was one, Josh. Very good. Let's do two. Ha, ha. Three, two, sorry. This will be the third. No, wait, really. Ha, ha. Feet wide, Ricardo. Woo! Okay. That was the hard part. Now it's time for the tricep and the bicep and the body saw. So this is gonna be your arm smoker. For the dumbbell tricep extension, we're going to create a diamond grip overlapping the, the palms facing the ceiling. I'm gonna squeeze my glutes, rib cage will come down and I'm gonna stretch my triceps push the palms to the ceiling. The whole time I'm keeping the elbows tugged in. Elbows are tugged in, so I can maximize the use of that tricep. From there, we're doing the hammer curl or the neutral grip curl. Feels like I have two different weights. Okay, hammer curl is 12. Then we're gonna drop down and do a body saw, it's 24. So, I'm on the ground, feet and knees together, and I'm gonna pull myself towards my toes, butt stays down, pull myself towards my hands. Toes, 
hands. Feet and knees together, butt stays down. You're, you're in that sighing back and forth action on the floor. You're gonna go. Every time you get back to your feet, that's one rep. So up, down, that's one. So 24 body size, 12 curls, 12 tricep overhead press. We're sculpting the guns. Juliana's got beach season to prepare for. It's upon us. We gotta get those biceps going. All right. Remember, for which one? Put that foot on top of the other one. Yeah. Okay, do it. Okay. Uh, do you want a plank or you don't want to be on the ground? Yeah, so what I'm saying is you can take your injured foot. Can you do that? No. <laughs> you all know, I don't think you understand. That's a big 10 no, Josh. Okay. That's a big 10 no. Okay. So, uh, supine bicycle, 25. 25 reps. You're on your back. Okay. Go, go, gadget arms. I, I, have you tried it? Oh, well, you haven't even tried it now. Now you're just canting. Now you're just canting all over the place. That's a four letter word in my home. So rules of the dojo. Also, this is just rules of being around Josh. You don't ever say I cannot unless you put a yet at the end. As long as you say yet, you're okay. You haven't done the work yet. So you cannot yet. But I can't, that's just, that's all up here. That's all imagination. How am I supposed to get you in shape to fight the Russian, Viviana? You gotta train. You gotta run uphill in the snow. Okay. I'm giving myself the five minute rest period. Let's see if that helps. All the way up, elbows in on the way down. 12 reps. Glutes are on when you're training overhead. Glutes are on when you're doing curls. Glutes are on when you're doing a plank. Ricardo, when are the glutes on? All the, time. the glutes are always on. If you're training your arms, you're training your glutes. Training your abs, you're training your glutes. Glutes on, Josh. Hey, Viviana, good job. Cassandra, looking good. Butt down for me, Jennifer. Back and forth, back and forth. 24, Ricardo, 24. In, in binary, that's a lot of zeros and ones. Actually, I think that's only like six, but. <laughs> so your rest period, again, 60 seconds, then you get back after it. Once you're Ricardo, and then you rest one second, then you're back after it. 12 reps. If I'm curling, my butt is on. That keeps my back from arching. That keeps the tension in the abs and the arms. Ah. Elbows in, Viviana. It's not, it's not a suggestion. It's a commandment. How, no, how dare you? All right, 24, 12, 12, 24, Warriors, round two. Let's go. Elbows in. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 
17, 18, 19, 20. You know what, it's anything more than 20, you know? It's kind of tough. Two, three, butt down. Josh. It's bad when that salty sweat stains your eyes. That's when it's bad. Nice, Ricardo, butt down. Good. Woo! You only have three sets, Warriors. You want to test yourself. We did our 75 rep challenge this morning. Make sure you do that if you haven't done it already. Another test is to AMRAP your reps on this last set. So AMRAP the overhead press. AMRAP the curls. See what you can get done. As many reps as possible. It also means as many rounds as possible depending on how the coach wants to use it. But remember, the form principle, only the good reps. Only the good reps. Last set. Last set. Glutes on, elbows in. Three, four. Notice the elbows always want to flare. We always got to control them. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Finish strong. Glutes on. Woohoo! Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Come on, Josh. Fifteen perfect reps. That's all the good ones I had. Woo! Come on, Jennifer. 998. 999. Body sauce, 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, butt down, Jennifer. Feet together, knees together, butt down. One, two, three, four. It's just hard for you, Jennifer. The rest of us find this very easy. How's bicycles? That good, huh? All right. 
you have two options before you. We have the option one of using your super band for the tendon set. Option two of using weights. So we're going to do three sets of 60 reps. The super band version I'm in a bridge press. Glutes up. Press to the ground. Press to the ground. Press, squeezing the chest at the top. Everything's on. 60 reps with the band, or you do the same thing with the dumbbell. What are you, what are you going with, Juliana? Band. I like the band because of the inconsistent tension. I like it changes. So that's going to keep you awake. It's a little less taxing on your nervous system too because you don't have to control it in space the way you do a dumbbell. So, three sets of 60. We're going to get lots of reps in. I know you guys can't hear me that well when I'm on the ground, so I'm going to talk a little bit, then I'm going to demo and then talk more. But the high volume, it's very good for your tendons. It's also very good for the muscles, increases blood flow. Type one muscle fibers grow in this training too. And as you'll notice, your heart rate will be high. Lots of benefits. So focus on the quality of reps. If you need a rest, take a rest, but rack up your sets. Break them up into sets of 30 if you have to, to get to 180. All right. I'm going to do this with you guys. I'll be narrating it. Three sets of 60 bridge presses. You create the X to create some stability. Lie it on your back, butt in the air. Training the glutes as we train the abs, as we train the chest. Getting a squeeze at the top, working the lower chest. Because of the angle that we've chosen today for the bridge press, we are getting that tricep, lower, lower pec, deltoids, everything is fired up. Good. If you've got no sleeves like me and Viviana, you might give yourself a little rash, a little road rash on the arm from the uh, band. Be careful with those. One of the benefits of doing this press this way is that because you're on your back, your heart rate does not increase as quickly. Got that somewhat restful position. Squeeze your glutes, Jennifer. Squeeze your glutes, Caleb. All the way up. And right about the point you get to about 100 reps, you're going to notice a little bit of fatigue. That's OK. That's part of the training. Squeezing the chest at the top, locking out the elbows, getting those muscles to fire. Everything's on purpose, intentional. Getting that leverage. Moving that weight. Squeezing that butt, Viviana. Squeezing that butt, Ricardo. Woo! Hot Lucha! Hot Lucha! I got this. Woo! All right. You warmed up yet, Caleb? Getting there, huh? Okay, yeah, so the reps add up. If you're like me, trembling a little bit, that's a lot. It's a lot for your nervous system. Make sure you're uh, getting that rest. Ho! Oh. All right. Oh. 
Nice work, Juliana. Nice work, Cassandra. Feel that in your triceps, Ricardo? Yeah. How many reps you got, Viviana? You've done 60? Good job. That's a lot of reps. That's a lot of movement. You okay? Yeah. So I was talking to Viviana. She was giving me the I might puke on you kind of look. Ah, oh, 60. Three sets of 60. Are you glad you chose the band, Juliana? You, are you glad you chose the band? Good, good. I'm feeling a little dizzy. Reason why I'm not doing a bunch of stuff. I was just testing out different movements. I just feel, I just feel dizzy. If you're heat sensitive like me and Ricardo, uh, make sure you're listening to your body and seeing how hydrated you are and how mineralized you are. Most of the time when you're dehydrated or get heat stroke, it's, it's not water you're missing, it's minerals. The electrolyte imbalance. So now is a great time to drink that Gatorade or a Fit Aid brought to you by Training for Warriors. Thank you. You think I would have that planned in the workout? Like I should just have like little like commercial breaks. You know, co like hosts just turn in and they go. So now we're going to sell you a washer and dryer. You've got another 90 seconds to finish your final round of bridge presses. Caleb said we were doing too much legs, so I had to get some arms today. Our finisher for the last couple of weeks has been three sets of 20 seconds of push-ups, mountain climbers, and knee grabs. Who here has taken their 75 rep challenge yet? You guys haven't? You guys doing the, the, the workouts online? The speed strength workout has the 75 rep challenge in it today. You don't need to do the full workout. Just do the 75 rep challenge on your own. 
What's say Wednesday? So you guys won't be coming in tomorrow afternoon. But Thursday morning, Friday morning, wake up, do it. Text Bootsy your numbers. I'm, we're going to do the test right now because it's just the homework, but for time. So we're going to do the test so you know how to do it. And then you can, you can check in your score. So what I want you to do is we're going to do the 75 rep challenge now. And then you're going to look at your score last time so you know remember, you, you can compare. And you're tired now, so this isn't like your true test. But uh, I want you to, to get it a sense of how hard it's going to be. It is 25 push-ups, 25 knee grabs, 25 mountain climbers. Do you want to hand out chalk? Now, if you're going to do everything all at once, like Juliana, you're just going to do one 75 second set of everything, cool. Then you don't need the chalk because you're just going to go until you're done. But I want you to write PKM on the ground for push-ups, knee grabs, mountain climbers. You, you gotta, you're going to get 25 of each. No, you're just, you're just going to get 25 of each. The clock will be counting up. And then you record your time when you get there. OK? Wait, we're doing this for time? Yeah. So you're going to go 25 push-ups, 25 knee grabs. When, you're, when you get 25 of everything, you'll have 75 reps, and you write down the time that you. You can rest as much as you want. The clock just keeps ticking. Can you do what? Can you do eccentrics? Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're going to do an archer. If you don't do push ups, you do an archer. Is one this or is one this this? Each side. Any order you want. The push ups are the hardest. So just so you know. But remember, you can go back and forth. You can do 555, 555, 555, 555 all the whole time. Or you do, 20, you do any, any, any mechanism. That's why you have the chop. OK. Are you ready? What are you doing? Are you taking pictures? I wanted to do a time lapse. A time lapse? All right, warriors. We are starting in three, two, one, go. You're a beast, Juliana. You're a beast, Cassandra. Viviana, I love the speed. Nice work. Only quality reps. Get, the, get that all the way down there. Touch the deck there, Caleb. Shoulders over the wrists. Get that butt down, Ricardo. Butt down, Jennifer. Plank, you're going to be low. Get that butt lower, Jennifer. I'll end you. Woo, woo, woo. You're a minute in, Warriors. You're a minute in. Nice, Caleb. Good reps. Drop. Okay, you're a minute and a half in, minute 45. Nice, ar nice archers. Good knee grabs, Jennifer. Remember the hands at the chest, hands at the chest.
Lots of yelling. Lots of yelling. Lots of emotions right now. Shoulders forward. Hands on the chest, hands on the chest, Ricardo. You gotta throw your hands forward, there you go. There you go. Lean forward over your wrist there, Caleb. Forward over the wrist, there you go. Woo! All right, three minutes, 30 seconds, Warriors. Warriors, give yourself a hand. Take your dumbbells, put them in front of the dumbbell rack that you got them from. We're gonna to continue to focus on gratitude for the month of July. Reading When Things Fall Apart by Pema, Pima, Pema Chodron. And we're going to use it to open our hearts, open our minds, and bring forth the warrior within.